Good morning, YouTube, Facebook. This is Alan from Spotless Cafe Cleaning. Happy Tuesday, and I'm back down in Fay Haven to do part two of the hallways in the next building in the senior living center. We had some rain over the night. It was very nice for the plant and for the soil. It was well overdue. And you know, a little rain is good. And God is good. We are here once again and the land of the living. Remember, be grateful, be humble, and be thankful for each and every day that you're still here. So let me take you in and show you what the carpet looks like. I'll be cleaning this morning in Fairhaven. Okay guys, so we are inside of the building and you can see it's the same pattern of carpet. These are tile carpets. And as you can see for yourself, the carpets are in very good condition. So if the hallway goes all the way back down there. This is a much bigger building than the one I did yesterday. So I'm just gonna get right down to vacuuming this carpet. The hallway goes back down there. Then we have the second hallway at the bottom so i've been walking my way from the top down not from the bottom up you always like to get walk your way out so time to do the vacuum <laughs> So let me get you vacuum in this hallway and I will show you what I get out of this carpet in the canister and I will show you the door later on. Okay. okay guys, so already started upstairs after encapsulation. I just finished that back part and I'm walking my way down this hallway and this is part two from yesterday. I was with you again. I'm back here again doing one more building of this hallway for the senior living center. And I'm still doing encapsulation because I said it's the safest and the better way to do with all the traffic of everybody in and out of the hallway, in and out of the room. So then we will see a microfiber bonnet. Yesterday in the other building I used an iron one cotton bonnet. 
I'm just switching on top a bit. Your microfiber magnet tends to absorb much more and take up more dots and moisture out of the carpet. And also have some blue strips that help to agitate the fiber during the cleaning process. So it comes off. And secondly, it does a light agitation of the fibers also. So you have your two steps being done in one. is the same pattern of carpet tiles that we did on the building yesterday that we have in this building also. Anything throughout all, throughout all of the buildings is the same carpet because the bigger one we did two years ago had the same pattern so they just stick with one, one pattern of carpet which is good. After I finish this top hallway, I have the bottom hallway to do. And that will be it for these two buildings. And then we have to check in with the manager to see if she has any more to do about this. But as I always say, I'm very grateful and thankful for whatever comes big, small, medium it doesn't matter we still have to be happy and be grateful for whatever comes along with it okay, so I'm over on the other side of the hallway opposite the one I just finished so I just have this leaf to do but what I want to show you, if you look in front, this carpet hasn't been done as yet, and you can see how it looks compared to the one in the back. You can see the big difference of the brightness of the, the colors, how it's popping out. So let's see, I'm on the, I'm on the opposite side right now. The hallway is in a U shape. So I'm on the lower side of the hallway. I take the upper side already. Then after this one, I go downstairs and vacuum and do the same thing. Overall, the carpets are coming out very nice. I'm using some product from the in cap store, awesome in cap. I'm not going to go with anything that strong because, as I said, the carpets are in pretty good condition and they're not that dirty. So, awesome in cap is a nice product to do a maintenance with. I also have um, Like for heavy, heavy traffic areas, dirty areas, I need more strong chemistry. That's the one I use. Okay, so we are finished with the upper hallway upstairs, and you can see how beautiful the carpet is looking. All the way down at the end there, and then. This was the other half of it on the opposite side. Back down there. So as I 
it's, uh, it's in a U shape like that. Now I'm about to head downstairs um, to do the second, to do the bottom level of the hallway. I have my cart here with everything, make life so easy. Um, the good thing about it, they have an elevator on the second, second floor, so I will not be taking any stairs. Get everything to the elevator and go in right here. So let me get everything downstairs and get to work on the second hallway. Okay, so we are down on the last hallway downstairs. I get the second hallway first up top and I leave the first one for last so I can walk my way through the door when I'm finished. So basically it's the same layout downstairs, nothing is, is different, so I'm just back to where this happened right now, and it's the same thing as upstairs in the rest of so I'm going to cut this little shot and get this vacuum done so I can put on the fish bread and come back and start the table right now. Okay guys, so I'm on my last hallway on the first floor, I already finished the other side, I'm just finishing up this, this one here, and I must say these carpets are really coming out very nice. I've started here. Exactly 9 o'clock, and it's about 12 12 15, 12 20. Uh, yes, I did vacuum all two um, flight of hallways, and put down the pre spray, come back, and start the encapsulation. And I'm almost finished here. I right, say so maybe by 1 o'clock. I'll be wrapping up everything, uh, calling it a day. So, this has been a very uh, productive day. We've got tons of praise in return for that. I'll show you guys the bonnet when I finish how uh, much it goes and get out of them. So let me just finish up this what I have left here and get everything wrapped up, place back into my bag and show you the body and um, vacuum canister dot. Okay. So we are finished with this job in Fairhaven at the senior living center. The hallway is finished. You can take a look. I have my cat and everything ready to go. All back here is finished. You can see the carpet. And everything back there. So it's time to get the van ready, put everything inside. I just want to say thank you guys for the continuous support. Thank you for your following, for the referral. And everything in general and you guys have a good day this is i from spotless carpet clean saying i'll see you guys tomorrow oh, okay guys so these are how the cotton bonnets are looking cotton pads these are some of them that i used this morning for this job as you can see i did use a microfiber bonnet but you will not see the color of the dot in this because it's gray with some blue stripes and let me show you what I get out of those two hallways this morning
some shrub in the canister. But yeah, you can see a lot of dry leaves, a lot of dry soil, some salt grains, and a piece of paint, chip paint from off the wall, some pet hair. A lot of other stuff so yep that's why encapsulation when you're doing it any vlm encap dry clean you need to have a do a pearl and a thorough vacuum to get the majority of that dry soil out of the carpet